Hi explorers and welcome back to the channel. The Fake and Explorer NZ here and we're here at Taylor's Mistake. For the use know it, it's a public place you can come to. There is a few, unfortunately due to rockfall here behind me, the houses that are now abandoned. This is the first one damaged by a rockfall and there's other ones too. So we'll have a bit of a look, I've been meaning to look at this for myself for a long time because I find it very fascinating and interesting. So why not bring along some of you unknown people that don't know about this to have a look. Let's get to it and have a wee look at this first rockfall property. So these properties are built into the cave, into the cliffs, and they were cave cabins. So there's grave history on this, which I'll try and remember and share. Basically, I believe it might have been during the time of the war, people were sort of hiding in the caves and sort of making settlements or something along those lines. I'll check that information is correct. And they built houses in the cliff sides, into the caves. And here we have more treasures there. This one here, unfortunately, has had a rock fall come inside it. And there's the fridge and freezer in there. Now, um, I may just climb around in there so we can read that newspaper on a date. Oh, look, there's the old cooker there. Right. Ah, and another fridge, there's two fridges. All right, it smells a bit fishy around here. And then no pun intended, it smells fishy around here. Someone's probably been using this to get the fish to catch it. Newspaper. I mean, someone might have come and chilled out here with the newspaper, you just don't know. And that's from 2000. It's probably quite accurate. The two, Thursday, January the 27th, 2000. If you can actually read that, hopefully you can. But, um, rather small. You can see a bit of daylight coming through up here. But this is one of the little shacks and the toilet and bathroom was actually built into the cave and it's now collapsed you can see the brickwork of where it once stood so let's go around and have a bit of a look and the sleeping quarters in here with bunks built into the into the rock base there and we'll have a bit of a look in there and so around over here you can see some remains of bricks where in fact and bricks over here they would have had their shower area. You can see the water pipe here. And uh, we don't break them into, into places, but uh, there's a wee hole here. I'm a larger size, broad shouldered gentleman, so if you can call me that, I might not fit inside. Oh, I don't know if we fit in here just. Here we are. So I do ask if any people want to come here that you respect it and you don't cause vandalism or tag because look how preserved this is in here. You can see the rock up here, all painted. We've got a wire wove bed in here. We also um, have a vacuum cleaner part here and here, a double bunk bed, double bottom single top bed doesn't smell too pleasant in here and the floor is quite soft actually stinks in here oh and that's the other room I saw before oh now I'm gonna get out of here before I reach it smells like rotten fish oh there's a light switch light socket there I need to get out of here otherwise you'll hear me reaching on video So we're on this section. This section here doesn't appear that there's a way to have a look inside. Unfortunately. There's a door behind there. Yeah, it's all watertight to the rock face. What do we have up here? Might be another washroom. Or the washroom, I might have been incorrect. And here we are, yes. Rocks have gone straight through the ceiling of this one. No, this is just a sleep out. See some stars on the walls. Someone's little sleep out here. Beautiful view here. So there's a couple other houses. So save you a uh, view of a beach walk, which some of you probably might really enjoy. I'll cut the video back and start the video when we get there.
Right, the second property at Taylor's Mistake has three story bunks up there. Let's see if we can find a way up and go and show you up there. Right here, explorers. Overground stairs here into this place. Just imagine having the view like this. Right here off your front veranda here. But you'd be cut off to the world if you had to go out during high tide because you have to walk here during low tide. So anyway, second house here. We have a microwave, an oven, small fridge, a bigger fridge. No, that's just one fridge laying over. One mistake. Fridge freezer, Calvinator, bar heater. There we have the kitchen. Nope, that's not plumbed off. Of course, obviously, there's a hole right there. The water booze out. And like the pantry in there. And the rock face. We have another cupboard in here. And this rock face over here. Where they store stuff. And it's so dry in there. So you can see it doesn't leak on the rock face. So the rock's not wet whatsoever. And in here, it's a camp fridge here. Possibly looks like the hot water cylinder could have been stored in here. And that looks like an old dishwasher, potentially. And I'd say they probably use this as a pantry. So this would have been a lounge area here. And the kitchen. Dining room would have been here. And then we have the upstairs where everyone would have slept. Where they bunked up. And it's um sleeps up to six people on the bunks up here. So one, two, three, four, broken, five, six. People have vandalized this place, it's sad, they punched holes and broke and stuff. I mean they're sort of homemade, you can see the louver window. Well, you would have had a, a nice view here before the front's fallen off. And falling down there, the front of the house. But just imagine listening to that, waking up to this view in the morning. And look, you can see the tide's probably crashed right up, probably why this has all come off. The tide would crash right up under this house. They did have power and stuff as well. So yeah, nice little window here. Looking out, I believe there's some further caves up there. There was lots of caves in the hills. So we'll have a little look up there if we can get traction. And uh, we'll head out of here and give Morticia some room to do her photography. And uh, we'll head down. Undertow. I'm not sure what that refers to. I know it is a really cool uh, song or album actually by Tool. Anyway, it's probably to do with the ocean. Probably that this has been undertowed to cause the damage. Probably a king tide would have caused damages to this property. They have a king tide, you know, that's really, really big, like one in a hundred years or whatever. So, see if we can get some traction up here to up here because it's pretty. Uh, gritty, loose, sandy type stuff. There's a footprint here. That might be from exploring a bar. He was here. Oh, I bang my head on the rock above. That hurt. We were trying to look where I'm walking. Do we have any? There would have been another batch up here. Possibly even from the same property. You see a structure here. Oh, you can see the remains of it. It's nothing left now. Carpet. So I'm burnt at these burnt floorboards. Another structure up here. Just rubble now. Some seats and stuff. Not really much to see up here today. You've got to be careful up here. All this rock fell down during an earthquake in the area. So I mean it's not really advisable. Do it at your own risk. I'm taking the risk myself. Don't go copying, that's all I can say, unless you're experienced. Okay, that's the end of the line for here. Chair drop there. So I believe there's one more house to look at, quickly. And that'll be the end of the video. 
So while we're under this place, look at the piles. Concrete from an old bucket. And a uh, rock wall here to support from the waves. You can see where the waves have crashed up and broken some away. When it comes up, as you can see, the driftwood and the seaweed has come up to the underside of this house. Yeah, we'll go to the next house. Right, well, there's actually two more properties. There's one up there on the hill. I don't know if you can see it on my small camera. My viewfinder, this camera is tiny, so I can only just make that out. There's one up there, one over here. And I believe that's all there is. For this side, there are some caves and tunnels where they used to live underground, but there's not much left but concrete chimney structures. And it's on the other side of this bay where you believe it's Big Walk. We're not down on Big Walks today because we've been doing Big Walks the whole time we've been here. So we've got to conserve some energy for some cool stuff that we're planning to take you to see. So let's go up here and have a look up the stairs here. So we have the bunking room first of all, built into the rock face, a couple of bunks with wire wove beds, which is a 1950s style bed. But stinky in here, the mattress smells a bit sodden. And with some other bunk beds up here, would have been one at the bottom, a bedside table. Two more bunks here, um, a chemical flushing toilet over there. Um, we have a kitchen and a nice view, nice breeze here. And we build a bit of a concrete wall to keep the tide from crashing in here. People have been trying to light fires, these burnt wood, it's not good. A uh, bit of an old TV cabinet, yeah, or no drawers, small chest of drawers and couch. What else do we have along here? Oh, she's collapsed around here into the cave. That would have been probably, uh, could have been a bathroom area. There's a water pipe here. Probably goes to this next batch, which is occupied. So we don't go in or near or around that. But I'm intrigued as to have a look at this property up there. We'll see if we can find a safe passage up there. It might have to be up that cliff I walked up before. It seems to attach along. Might have to walk along a narrow cliff. We'll see. Hmm. Too easy. I'm going to go up these stairs. We'll just make sure our pelvic floor is climbing the cliff okay. Yep, our pelvic floor made the cliff climb. And we'll climb these stairs. Look at this last property. It's abandoned due to earthquakes and coastal damages. Ah, this is the one that is the coolest. This is the art one. It's like an art gallery. People have more decorated it with art. Oh, that's a tight doorway. Turn the light on. Wow. Look at the art they've done in here. And the couch. This is almost watertight. Oh, look, there's still even dishes. What have we got here? Hmm. No water to this one. There's a fuse breaker. There's an ink pot from somewhere was someone's done the art. That is really cool. It is um wow, it's on the roof too. Wow. Really cool. I'll shut that door before we go out so we can get a full picture of this picture here. Oh the hole in the floor right there. It's a bit wonky and oh the whole thing's moving around. Don't fall down the cliff with us in it, please. Chemical toilet system there. This would have been the bedroom. Another rotting hole in the floor. Oh yeah, that's the shower. You can see chair where you sit in the shower. That would have been a drain and a toilet all of the shower. And a lounger chair. May have had a deck at some point. Wow. So it's... Saw here. Cutting up some firewood, not that there's a fireplace in here. There may have been, back in the day. Oh, you got a pantry here, was power. And uh, we'll shut this here so we can just get an overview of this reasonable picture. Looks like someone's pulled this off. 
Uh, someone took the cupboard door off here with a remaining bottom picture there. That's really well done. Some people have done a good job here. It's a good view. It's a bit dodgy to climb up to this one. Don't do it unless you're experienced and confident. Don't damage it. Don't do vandalism or damages to it. Well, explorers, a bit of a different video for today. And uh, turn this light off, it's in my face. Where is it? Anyway, there it is. Bit of a different video for today. So, um, your tailor's mistake. Um, Google it, there's history on it. There's a whole story about why they built into the rocks and caves. And I did sort of research it and intrigued me to come here. But it's always like either years or months later. So, I get here and I'm here, and I'm like, what was the research again? I'll see if I can add something to the video descriptions or maybe possibly a voiceover or something like that. So anyway, if you did like this cool Taylor's Mistake video of, what was it, three or four abandoned houses? Four. Then please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel and to push the bell notification button and to comment down below. And please remember to share. Share the video along and uh, yeah. We will catch you on the next Explore soon. But that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Forsaken Explorer, over and out. Shit, not gonna go.